everyone and today's video is going to be January pet favourites. Now I've never done one of these videos before but seeing as it's the new year and we're all trying out new stuff for our theories, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to show you a few of the favourites that we've been loving this month. The first favourite of the month has to be these twigs. Now I received these twigs from All Furry Zoo ages and ages ago um, but I received these recently from Furry Friends um, in a contest prize package and I've never actually bothered giving my hamsters my these. My hamsters have absolutely adored them. I never think they would be so fussed over twigs, but really they are one of their favourites. As you can see, they come in all shapes and sizes. Um, they're mainly round and long, but like you can see here, the different sizes that these ones are really big and you've got really small ones. The hamsters love to gnaw on these and I have to say, my hamsters much prefer them to any normal wood chew any day and they're just so natural. The next thing that I've been really impressed with this month is this dwarf hamster book. I got this from Pets at Home the other day because I find that any books made for hamsters are always based on Syrians and as a lot of you will know I have two dwarfs and my interest is always dwarfs, not really Syrians. So I was really um, surprised to see this on the shelf because usually it's all about Syrian hamsters. So when I found this dwarf one I just had to get it. It cost me £5.99 from Pets at Home. It's from the company Magnet and Steel and I have to say it's a really, really good book. The book is really informal and it's a great book for beginners to get you um, with a bit more knowledge about dwarfs. Um, I've actually found it very interesting. I do know most of the information in here anyway, but it's nice to have a hard copy of it. The only thing I do not like in here is the housing that they suggest because either of the, neither of these housing are actually suitable for a dwarf hamster. This book has definitely been a great find and that is why it's in my top favourite products of January. The next favourite product of the month is this Sleep and Play Cheese. Now if you saw this, this would have been in my last haul of December and I know I got it in December but I only got to try it out in January because I did a cage clean of them the other day and I decided to put in all the new toys. And this is one of the best things I've ever bought and I'm probably going to go and buy another one for Misty as this is Mickey's. It has some nice fair sized holes, I'm not too sure if a Syrian could fit in here because I don't know much about Syrians so I'm not sure whether they'll fit in there but you'll have to ask someone like a Syrian expert because I'm really not sure and I don't want to give out um, incorrect information. But this is a really cool shape, you can do lots of things to it, I like to keep it like that. He has the room in his cage so he can have it across but you can keep it into a sort of triangular shape and have it like that or turn it upside down and have like a food bowl on top or I think the way that you're meant to have it is like that as a big piece of cheese however you probably have to glue that because those hinges don't seem to want to meet there so I'm not too sure but I love having it like that it brings up space and he loves to dart in and out the holes um, and it's a really good enrichment toy for him and he's really really been enjoying it this sort of toy you'll probably find on places like VA Vet you may be able to find it in local pet stores that sell the Boredom Breaker range maybe on places like Amazon because I've just noticed the other day that they are now stocking the Boredom Breaker and the Naturals range so this has been the favourite toy of the month by far and I'd really like I said to purchase another one for Misty because if Mickey's really enjoying it I'm sure Misty will our next favourite product of the month was actually from Peach Pet Paradise and we won this in a contest prize. And this is actually one of the best Bendy Bridges I've purchased, even though I didn't buy it, I've received. And it bends really, really easily, unlike my other bridges. It's really colourful. I'm guessing it wouldn't have been too expensive. It's from the range, I'm pretty sure. And it's absolutely lovely and I love putting it in Misty's... Um, colourful themed cage for this month and it looks really really snazzy and lovely and it's a great size for a dwarf and even a Syrian. It's just made from natural dyed wood which again is perfectly safe and if your hamster wanted to chew this then they could. So this is a product that Misty has really been loving this month and I definitely recommend it to hamster owners. One of my favourites this month for Tiggs had to be the Seaside Felix Mix. Now I've never tried this before and we did win it in a trade and Tiggs absolutely adores it. Not only does it have really cool shaped pieces but Tiggs really enjoys it. I'm guessing that the nutrition is really bad and they're not very healthy but as an occasional treat Tiggs really does enjoy one or two of these. The last product I recommend this month is this bunny cushion. Now I am not absolutely bunny obsessed like some people on YouTube because I've never owned bunnies but I did receive this as a Christmas present and I have to say 
it's absolutely gorgeous and I do love buns and um, so it makes my room look really nice it sits at the end of my bed but it's not just a cushion it's something which has helped me with the hamsters and this cushion unzips at the bottom just like that and you can pull the blanket out of it so this is perfect for things like travel but not only that it gives you a really fluffy silky throat and you can see it in the camera the way it reflects the light it is so soft and silky now a lot of you don't know but Misty hasn't actually been well this month she's had a little medical issue which is now um, perfectly fine it's still there but it's much much better and this has really helped when I was applying a bit of cream on her and giving her a little medicine I wrapped her up in this really cosy throw and she's just sat there quietly which she doesn't usually like to sit still in but she sat there peacefully as it really huddled her um, nicely and it's absolutely so gorgeous and soft that Misty's really really loved it on the actual throw it also has an adorable little bunny and this is because it's part of the cushion so they're just putting the same pattern on there to know that they're sort of together. It's My sister also had a really adorable sheep one so I know that you can get them in different sort of animals and sizes and shapes sort of thing but unfortunately my lovely friends you can't get it over here this is actually all the way from Cyprus that my auntie came over so it's a bit of a bum because um, it's the whole point in showing you my favourites so that you can go try them out but this isn't really possible to try out but I just wanted to share it with you even though um, you can't actually purchase it which I'm really sorry about so thank you so much for watching my favourites this month if you'd like to see one of these monthly or every two months make sure you comment down below um, obviously I have been saving for quite a while now because I haven't spent on the pets in a while you may have seen December was the first time I spent on them in ages so I will be going out to try new products and if you want reviews I could do them happily um, of any products or toys you see in my hamster case chores or anything like that. I will hopefully be doing these every two months or maybe monthly, depends how popular they are. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I think my next video is the Peach Pet Paradise Contest Prize Package opening. I think it may be up before this but also I've got a room tour coming. I've also got a video all about keeping dwarfs in pairs and I have so many, I keep forgetting them all, <laughs> I have so many videos I've got coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button to see them all coming and I'll see you next time.